So today we're going to be talking about tinfoil meals. They're a very common camping meal to make. They're super simple and we're going to go over the ingredients of how to make them. First thing, you're going to need to get yourself a long sheet of foil. Make sure to get the, go out and get the extra heavy duty foil. Uh, that way it doesn't puncture or get holes. And use the non-stick side. Believe it or not, the shiny side is the side you need outwards. The non-stick side is the dollar side. Now let's take a look at our ingredients. We got chopped potatoes. Get this one. Onion. And carrots. And we're going to use ground beef. Now I use hamburger patties because they're already pre portioned out. So they're kind of handy that way. And so we will be using hamburger patties as our base. First things first, we're going to go ahead and spray down our aluminum foil with some oil. This is so nothing's gonna stick to it. We're also gonna go to and do something that you don't have to do, but actually helps. We got here some lettuce, and the purpose of lettuce is not to eat it, but to help give an extra layer of insulation so nothing gets stuck to the foil. I've seen people do this with banana leaves or just nothing at all, but it prevents from it being just seared to the foil. Okay, let's get that kind of even out here. Okay. Next thing, we're gonna go ahead and put our hamburger on it. We got our hamburger patty, which is pre-portioned. This is a third of a pound. And we're gonna go ahead and you can use how much you decide you wanna use. I'm gonna go ahead and break this hamburger up though into little chunks. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some potatoes. We're gonna go ahead and mix this all in there. Grab as much as you want. I generally do one small potato per tinfoil meal. We're gonna grab some onions. And we're gonna grab some carrots. Grab as many as you would like. Now, I'm not a fungus fan, but my wife sure is. And so we're gonna go ahead and put some mushrooms on this. Give her a decent amount. And then after that, we're gonna go ahead and put some seasoning. This is just fajita seasoning and put a little bit on there. Give it some extra flavor. Okay, I've gone ahead and kind of mixed this up a little bit finer so there's some meat on top and everything. Now we're gonna go ahead and put our other leaf on here. And what we're gonna do is kind of make it as flat as we can. We we'll go ahead and fold the foil over it. We don't want it very thick. The flatter, the better, actually. Now, there's a million ways of folding it. You pick your favorite way of doing it. Just make sure everything stays inside. And there you go. And we're just waiting on our coals over here. Once they're all ready, we'll go ahead and throw this in the fire. We're gonna go ahead and take, make two more and uh, go ahead and put them in. When you think your coals are good and ready, go ahead and place them on top of the coals, just directly right on top of it. You also may wanna invest in some long tongs like I have when it comes time for checking it. Now, we don't have a predetermined time, it depends on how hot your coals are, but 15, 20 minutes, and you can do these any way you wish. You could have, uh, chicken, I've done shredded steak, I've even done shrimp. So make it as fancy or as primitive as you want. Okay, so it's been a little over 20 minutes and while your absence, we actually go ahead and turn and flip these. About every five minutes we rotate them so they cook evenly. We're gonna go ahead and take one out and take a look at it. Now once again, invest in some long tongs. No need to remove body here. And the way we know if these are cooked is we're gonna make sure the carrots are soft. Okay, let's take a look. Very, very warm. Here's our lettuce. Let's take one of these carrots. And one way you know is if you can, very hot, but if you can squish it, you know it's cooked. And there you go. We have one completely cooked tinfoil meal. Now, if you have any questions, please ask and leave them in the comments. We love and enjoy doing this. 
Um, some of the great things you can have with this is ketchup and barbecue sauce, and this is good for any camp out, especially these colder months that are coming. If you have done this yourself, please leave it in the comments and tell us some of the things you tried out. If you like this channel, please subscribe.